back to my channel. Today's video I did a everyday makeup tutorial because I don't wear makeup every day. I barely wear mascara half the time so when I do decide to wear it, this is what I do. So if you want to see how I did it, make sure you keep watching and spread kindness. So the first thing that I'm going to start with is my eyes. I do my eyes before my face because if I get fallout it's easier to just wipe it away so I'm going to start with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in anti-aging I'm gonna put a little extra Whoopsie, not done that extra. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. Put it all over my eyelid. And I do not wear a lot of makeup, so I don't put a lot on. And no, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I just do what I think looks okay. And then sometimes I go back in and like fix it up a little bit. And blend it out. Then I wipe up anything that could have gotten on the bottom. Sometimes I do put a liner just on the outer edge of my eye, like a black liner, but not always. And I can't do that on camera, so I'm not doing it today. So for my face, I don't do a lot and I sometimes wear like an actual foundation, but I haven't been. I've just been using a BB cream, so that's what we're going to use today. I use this Maybelline New York dream bb cream in fresh and i literally just pour it in my hand like this can't see it then i just dab it on my face i need a mirror i can't see anything <laughs> And then I just rub it in with my fingers. I this is like the simplest makeup that you can ever do because most days I don't even wear any. Not even mascara. And I like, I like this BB cream or BB cream in general because my skin still looks like my skin. But just a little bit covered. I don't want to have like not my looking skin. Then for my concealer under my eyes, I'm using Rimmel London Stay Matte Concealer. And then I do rub it in a little bit, just a little bit, and then I use my beauty blender for the rest. I 
do not like to wear a lot of makeup personally, but that's just me. I don't even know how to do highlight, bronzer, or contour. I've tried it before, but no. <laughs> I don't know how. And honestly, the longest part of my makeup for me is my eyebrows. Maybe you can see it a little better now. I turned the light down. There you go. You can see it a little bit better. Still my skin, just a little bit better. Next, I'm going in with my pressed powder. I'm using Rimmel London Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And guys, this is all from Walmart except for my eyeshadow primer and my eyebrow pencil. So I just go in, put it on. For my blush, I'm using Maybelline New York Master Highlight by Face Studio. It's a highlighting blush. As you can tell, it has blush and a highlighter all in one, so I don't have to use a highlighter. I like easy and simple. Next I'm going to do all my eyebrows, but I'll be right back for that because I cannot do those on camera. Eyelash time. I swear by CoverGirl Clump Crusher. I've been using this for years and years and years and every time I try something else, it's a no. I brush on my eyelashes with an old one just to get right in there. And my eyelashes are whacked up. Now we're going to put on our lips. I'm using Milani Nude Cream number 26 and on top of that e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oil in Pink Kiss. That's with the lipstick and now I'm going to put the gloss over. You don't need to, but I have been 